Thank you very much, boys and girls. We're here um, for uh, uh, yet another episode of The Godfather, and we have a uh, distinguished uh, alumni um, that uh, has been to the seminar, I believe, twice. Uh, once the regular seminar and once um, the um, hardcore. Ravi, thank you very much. Nice to see you uh, and uh, your significant other who's sitting off camera. The, um, these have become popular, and we do them in a bar because uh, most of the nefarious things done in the movie The Godfather are done in either whorehouses or bars. Although the Guthrie Castle estate in the 60s was used as a brothel. It was. Because they had run out of money already, and the North Sea had just come in uh, uh, to, to fruition, and so the owners of the Guthrie estate allegedly used it, uh, the main castle as a brothel. Okay, but uh, uh, I, I like to use it. I like the, the brothel background better, but Sally won't let me do that. So the, the, the next best thing is the bar. Okay, um, and we've interviewed a number uh, of the uh, of the kids, and I call you all kids because I'm either old enough to be your father or grandfather. Um, and everybody's got a slightly different story. Uh, some follow the steps almost 100 um, percent, the closest to 100 percent that we have. In recent years, is Andreas Milner from Germany. He's, he followed about 95%. Um, and then we have people uh, that uh, followed it only 50, 60%. And then uh, Ravi will tell his story. Um, the, uh, but the key to success uh, with this model is, is are some of the revelations that we were talking about off camera, uh, or before the camera started, I should say. Uh, and in the Asian community, most Asians are raised to be the uh, pension funds for the pension plans for their parents, okay? Uh, and that has legitimate background because back uh, 100, 150,000 years ago, caveman day, um, as the teeth of the adults fell out, the children would chew the food and then put it in the adult's mouth because they had no teeth. So they were taking care of them, okay? Well, that has passed down about the not the only ethnicity that still does that, but one of the primary ethnicities that still does it are Asians. Okay. Uh, and even though I don't consider Indian Asian to me, having lived in India uh, for several years, uh, the, uh, some of the challenges that he had were uh, family related. Okay. So he had a, a whole set of challenges. Uh, the second challenge was, in my opinion, uh, construction I don't like. And as I told him and every other guy, Marcus Bauer, is a, anybody with a 50 IQ can get rich in construction in an upmarket. Morons, mongoloids, idiots. And he said, I don't know what he says now. Well, I fall into that category. Back then he did anyway. Uh, and um, it's uh, in a rising market. We had a rising market for about 12 or 13 years. Interest rates were zero, or close to zero. They were giving away money free. And with some of the techniques that QLA uses every day, not just when the market's shit, he apparently uh, has uh, done very well. And that's why he's here. And he, he uh, every two or three years, whether I need it or not, he updates me. Okay. So when they update you, it's not because it's bad news. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's good. And I'm happy uh, uh, for him and, and his wife. But it's, it's not a surprise if you follow even most of the steps in the recent market up until maybe the last six months. And then there's an, I used to say five things God gave me, my wife, three kids, and Corona. I didn't expect God to ever give me anything again. But God gave me a sixth thing, rising interest rates. So the ones that weren't scared to shit from Corona are now double scared to shit because of rising interest rates. And if, if, you, if you play your cards right, honestly, uh, ethically, and morally, uh, which may or may not uh, really uh, cover the Indian model, <laughs> the, uh, you should be able to make a shit ton of money. And um, we've had two or three people here in the last six months sitting in this, in this chair just as rapidly is uh, that have made a lot of money in real estate. Uh, they're having to adjust their model because um, it's slightly different. 
Well, um, again, thank you. Uh, t t tell us about your, uh, your um, I want to say rape, pillage, and plundering, uh, uh, but um, uh, tell us what's happened since you left the seminar. Um, so we started with uh, healthcare, and we had to pivot because I found it way too difficult um, getting CQC inspectors. Um, so I, had a, I think we had about three pivots before we picked an industry. Um, I went back to my comfort zone, uh, went straight back into property and stayed away from M&A for a bit um, until I started doing, uh, uh, I went into marketing, so marketing agencies, then branding, and then I went into, I bought a law firm, had to close it down. I'll talk about that tomorrow in the seminar. Um, exited from a recruitment, uh, recruitment group, construction group and an engineering group. Anything else? I think that was it. Yeah, that's about it. Those groups, are, those are exited. And um, got, I've got a couple uh, deals in tech at the moment. So SaaS, prop tech, and that sort of works well with us because it sort of fits within our databases where we can sort of pile in more <coughs> subscribers and, uh, and revenue. Um, and it all sort of complemented my property business as well. So I kind of used them hand in hand and did carve outs. So I th those was, those were probably very lucrative because I think I was the only one doing it. Anyone in M&A hates property in the business. Anyone in property can't understand the business. So I'd sort of come in, carve the property out into an SPV, treat that as a property asset. And there's a whole sort of plethora of ways to monetize that. And then the business as well, which is what I was new to before I started QLA. I then learned how to either grow through acquisition, um, cut costs, increase revenue, uh, work with uh, build subsidiaries, new divisions, things like that, and, and marketing. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, I definitely sort of looked back at all the numbers and I was like, is that it? And I was sort of telling my wife today to go, I've I, I really messed around with doing small deals for, for quite a bit. And uh, it, it's odd sort of seeing a lot of your mentees and stuff coming back to the estate and going, I, I don't think I'm still there yet at the top um, from everyone that you've sort of spoken about. So it's really sort of coming back to Guthrie. Thanks to you and Sally for having me back here. Um, it's really sort of made me think about how big I should be thinking, especially with rising interest rates. Deal flow is, 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 is extremely busy right now because people aren't financing deals. And if they are, it's sort of killing the cash flow of, of any deal. So I'll sort of come in as the second person uh, with many of the deal makers have sort of given it a go. I've come in as second person and I've just gone, oh, no wonder it fell through. And they go, yeah, because of X, Y, and Z and interest rates. So I feel like I'm getting sort of an easier play at the second go of the deal. Um, some becoming 100% vendor financed at about four or five percent rate. Um, but it's been, it's been good fun. It's been a lot of highs and lows. Uh, I don't think I had slept for five years straight. This is the first year after all the exits. I probably had a bit of time to reflect, uh, which is why I sort of reached out to you. We, uh, I think we do more shopping now at the moment. So just uh, we've bought a new place. So we're sort of living life a little bit better. Still a, still a now, I, 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 coincidentally, since you sent me that film about your house, I've been in Windsor twice. I wouldn't have thought about it, except you live near there. Yeah. Okay. We, we drove around. We couldn't find your house. Uh, we asked all the rich people that I know. They never heard of you. And then one, I won't say that he was racist, but I tried to pronounce your last name, and he looked at me, and he wanted to know if... Uh, what ethnicity that was. Uh, so maybe you'll never know the people that I know there. So, uh, because racism is alive and well in Britain, believe me. Uh, it's not just the immigrants that we want to keep out, but I mean, it's alive and well. Uh, but um, the, um, it is a nice part of the world. Uh, the, uh, so congratulations on that. But back in the 90s, not taking anything away from that, my kids, my flock, were into buying islands. Islands. 
and putting runways on them. Uh, and they were trying to do them in where there was no clear tax jurisdiction. So they didn't pay, ta they thought they didn't pay taxes. And I told them all that there's a loophole in UK, US, Canadian. It's, anyway, but anyway, because uh, it, it depends on what kind of passport. For example, an American passport taxes worldwide income. They don't give a shit if you're on the moon. Okay, but anyway, so uh, the kids have been sending me their various uh, uh, new homes or their second homes or their third homes. So I, I was happy to see that. Uh, but um, all these places, which I'm sure you're just beginning to find out, uh, eat money. Yeah. <laughs> they, they just eat money. And uh, like I say, I've owned this place every 39 years next month. Uh, and it's one of the poorest investments I ever made. I would have never, ever, ever thought this is a, a pit, money pit. We have full-time carpenter, full-time joint, uh, I mean joiner, full-time plumber. I mean, just for the shit that breaks. We had to put in three uh, or five new boilers in February. 125, a, no, 25 a piece. Anyway, but I wish you luck, and uh, that'll be an experience. Uh, but um, yeah, and so, so you've learned some of the things the hard way. And as I said, when you were going through the seminar, uh, some of these things don't make sense, like buying a business for a pound, OK? But it's possible. And in the infamous words of Bruce Whipple, if you don't ask, you don't get, OK? But most of the people that come to the seminar, I'm sure your group is no different, um, never thought of. Now, I try to instill in you, I haven't been as successful at this, where they pay you to take the business off their hands. That's also possible, okay? And um, I was that's quite- the next, That's the next goal then. Okay, I was quite infamous at doing that, uh, especially for refineries. I had a knack, or my engineering guys, I didn't have any knack, my engineering guys, and so, um, but there are businesses that will pay you. Uh, for example, um, Danone Ice Cream, a French company, was told after Putin invaded, or excuse me, invaded Ukraine, that the French company told, was told by the board they have to get out of uh, Russia, okay? Uh, and so when the board tells the CFO, the CEO, you, uh, we're out of Russia by December, you know, you have a great incentive to get out of Russia. So uh, my team, we're working on 13 companies in Russia now, uh, not 12. My team, we put together put some, some really hitters. Uh, and uh, last week, Russia took, confiscated, stole our company, Danone, for no payment. They decided that it was too much, even though it's a French company, they decided it was too much a Russian asset to let it go even though all the sanctions, et cetera. Um, so uh, that's, that's, that's one of, so now we're working on 12 instead of 13. But we were gonna have them pay us money. That's the reason I brought it up. Because we know they have to get rid of it, otherwise they're gonna be in violation. And so uh, there are opportunities like that. And there's, uh, you don't have to go to Russia to do it. I've been successful in Russia before, but here in the UK, there's, um, for this is a stretch, this isn't a real. Rolls Royce has decided to stop making uh, uh, hydrocarbon engines by 2035. Okay, that means that that part of Rolls Royce, and they also make jet engines and planes, that part of the business is going to be sold off. Has to be sold off. So, and these are assets that are worth in the billions but they will be very likely to make a deal with somebody that understands that.